so hello everyone so today i am going to talk about my macbook air m1 so this is the laptop which i purchased around 5 months ago in october end so today i am going to review about this and how's my experience of using it in 5 months so i think the 5 month is correct time so you know we can get more to about this laptop its pros and its cons so here i am explaining about my laptop and giving review about this so basically the difference between the m1 series and the old uh, old macbooks are the old macbook were used intel processor and this the latest series macbook is used m1 processor m1 processor is a specially designed chip designed by apple for the macbooks and also used in iphone so the this laptop is speed and is very fast just like the iphones so now let's go with the design and its thickness so this is the thickness you can see it is an very thick laptop uh see it's just like an a book and a less than a kg i must say i don't know the actual weight but it's an less than a kg so so these are the four sides and very and the main thing about this is we can open this with just one and uh, one hand this was not the case with the normal windows laptop you know we have to take both our hands to the you know we have to use both our hands to open the laptop and this was very complicated so it's an easy you know we just have to do with a one hand and it gets open see i am not into all those technical things in very detail i know the very basics how as a basic college student what are the things as a college student we need about the laptop which are the uses we do so i am going to explain you from that point of view so let's go so now basically what my usage about this laptop is i do coding i use uh, java and java and python for that i use spider eclipse and vs code so it works best and i mean the perfectly on this laptop the another thing i use is uh, imovie i edit my videos on imovie on this laptop so yeah this is a and the smooth processor and i also edit my videos on this laptop and believe me the processor of this laptop makes my editing uh, journey so smooth it doesn't hang a little bit and doesn't even stop for a second so oh, i'm not into all those detail you know gaming and all that i never play uh, i never play games on my laptop so gaming is not a question on macbook and we can also not play games on the macbook so another question here is let's go with the screen so here you can see the this screen has in a retina display so yeah this is in a retina display it's not a 4k i must say but it is an usb of an apple to give retina display and uh, it is best and i'll show you the clip of how the retina display looks like in the 4k video on this laptop in 1 2 3 so this is the 4k video quality on my macbook air below the screen we can see here keyboard the keyboard is one of the most smooth experience i've ever had while coding or while writing a general or whatever the experience is very smooth so you know the keyboard is one of the best in this segment i must say better than any windows whether it's i7 or i windows 10 it's better than most of it and the ergonomics here is perfectly balanced so you know we can you can from one and only we can manage all the things and the size of keyboard is also the perfect so apart from that we can see here the thickness the thickness of laptop is very thick whether it's the screen whether it's the below path so when we close this it just looks like it's also thin thin than my notebook let me show you so this is my notebook and this is my macbook so you can see here my macbook is thinner than the notebook and i must say it is heavy obviously heavier than the notebook but not heavier than the normal windows laptop so uh, it is a mm, mostly less than uh, 1 kg i mean i don't know the exact weight but it mostly be um, less than 1 kg so apart from that the main thing about this is we can open this laptop with just one our hand so yeah for the normal windows laptop we you know most of, most of any of the laptop we have to open a laptop with your both hands and keep a hand here but in this apple laptop we can only just you know open this with one our hand another thing one of the main part of this is battery life so usually on full charge my laptop last around 7 to 8 hours on a whole day screen time it gives 7 to 8 hours screen time on full charge on on not the screen time it usually lasts around 12 to 14 hours of battery life in a whole day so it's pretty well much so i don't need to charge every day 
I only charge once in the morning and then at the night. So usually last on a whole day for my six to seven hours of usage. Now these are the things we have talked about. Uh, so it is best in coding. I must say coding. It's very smooth. It gives a very smooth experience. It is best in battery life. It is smooth. It is snappy. You can see here. You know, very smooth. Just like we feel. You know, we are using an iPhone. And the other thing I must say now these are done with a pros. Now we are going to cons. So I I am studying electrical and electronics engineering. You know, so there are the softwares like AutoCAD. There is MultiSim. These are not downloadable on this laptop and doesn't work on MacBook. So these are this is this is the cons. You know, so I I have to borrow my sister's laptop to use the Windows laptop to use that apps. So though MultiSim is available online, but there is no substitute for AutoCAD. So you know, I have to talk to teachers. So you know, the teachers even don't have the alternative app because the this is the new version and the new the electrical softwares are not available right now in MacBook. So that's the reason you know we have to use uh, Windows for that. Or I must say for video editing, it has given me a smooth experience. I use iMovie for video editing and DaVinci Resolve. And these both app work smoothly on this MacBook without even a, you know uh, it doesn't get hanged at all. Basically nowadays I'm trying to put a one video on Tuesday about this informative things about the education of VI Triple E and all these things. And on Friday I'll post one vlog. So every week two uh, two videos I'll post. So hey everyone, hope you like this video. And if you have any doubt regarding. Uh, this MacBook or any other things you can shoot down in the comment. So if you like the video, share, subscribe. Thank you.